Hello friends, welcome to Oracle collection video series. In the previous set of videos, we have learnt about what is a collection and what are the different types of collection. Then we have learnt about record type, VRA, nested table and associative array. As a continuation of that, in this video, we will learn about what is multi-set operator. Generally in a real time, whenever we working with collections, many times we will get a requirement like we want to combine the elements of various collections into a single one and sometimes we want to check what are the common elements that present across the collections. In those scenarios, we can use the multi-set operator. This multi-set operator is very much similar to the set operator in SQL. The only difference is the set operator will act on the result set of an SQL whereas the multi-set operator will act on the elements of the collection. So let me just give you a quick overview about the set operators in SQL because functionally this is very much similar to the multi-set operator or you can say multi-set operator is very much similar to the set operator in SQL. The only difference is the set operator will work on the result set of an SQL whereas the multi-set operator will work on the element of the collection. So here are the four uh, set operators in available in SQL. The first one is like union. Union will combine the result set of two queries and removes the duplicate if any between the result set and sorts the result and returns the result set. Then we have like union all. It just combines the result set of two queries and returns it. It will not remove the duplicate and it will not sort it. The third set operator is intersect. It just returns the common rows present between two result set two SQL statements and the final set operator is like minus this returns the uh, value from one select statement or from one result set which is not present in the another result set. This is like very similar to like you can say either, either A minus B or B minus A that is either from the first select statement you want to remove the records present in second result set or vice versa. So very similar to this we have a multi-set operators. So there are three multi-set operators here. The first one is like multi-set union, multi-set intersect, multi-set except. Multi-set union will combine the elements of two collection of same type. This is very important. All these set operators will work on the collections of same type. Okay. So you cannot ex uh, you cannot expect the collection uh, set operators multi-set operator to work on the collection of different type. Okay. Uh, so this is very important point. So the multi-set union will combine the result or element of two collection into a single collection. Multi-set intersect will return the common elements between two collection and returns the common elements as a collection of same type. And multi-set except will returns the element from one collection which is not present in the another collection. This is very similar to the minus operator. Optionally, we can use two more keywords along with this. One is called all or distinct. Even if you are not specifying all, the default behavior is uh, all only. Okay. So well, the way we have to use this, either you can say multi-set union or multi-set union all. Otherwise, you can say multi-set union distinct. The uh, behavior of multi-set union and multi-set all will be the same. Even if you are not specifying the keyword all, the default behavior is all only. That means it combines the elements of two collection and returns the result. But it will not remove any duplicate. If at all you want to remove the duplicate elements in the result, you can use the distinct keyword. So the first is like multi-set union, very simple. It combines the elements of two collection and returns it. Uh, depends on the usage of keyword distinct, it will either remove the duplicate or not. The next is multi-set intersect. Multi-set intersect will return the common elements between two collection. So multi-set intersect and multi-set intersect all will return the common elements including duplicate value if any. If you are using the distinct keyword, it removes the duplicate and returns the common element. The, the third set operator is or the third multi-set operator is multi-set except. This is very similar to the minus set operator. It returns the elements from one collection that is not present in the another collection. So as I already mentioned, the multi-set except and multi-set except all will just returns the elements from one collection which is not present in another with including duplicate. If you want to remove the duplicates, you can just use the distinct keyword. Uh, now let us see example for all these categories. Okay, let us start with multi-set union. So here is a very simple program. So what I'm doing is I'm declaring a nested table type which can hold a list of members. I'm declaring a variable one that is LV number list one 
which is holding nine elements one one two two three four five eight eight i am declaring one more variable called lv num list to a second nested table variable which is holding five values that is six values that is nine one one two six seven if i want to combine both these collections and i want to store into another collection i can use the multi set union keyword so here is the syntax syntax is very very simple you say the collection 1 multi set union then the collection 2 so the result will be nothing but a combined values of all the elements from collection 1 and collection 2 and it will be loaded into the collection 3 so here is a very simple uh, diagram to understand so here is our uh, collection 1 here is our collection 2 so the result will be nothing but combined values of all so the res result will contain all the values it will not remove any duplicate if you want to remove the duplicate you can use the multi set union distinct keyword let us see the example now so here is the same program i am just executing now if you see it is returning the collection see i am actually printing the values from the result collection that is element 3 or the variable 3 lv num list 3 you can see here first it is having all the elements from collection 1 followed by the elements of collection 2 okay suppose if i want to remove the duplicate for example you can see here this one is duplicate same way this is the all these things are duplicate values so let us use the distinct keyword here now if you see it is giving 1 2 3 4 5 8 9 6 7 6, okay so multi set union distinct will remove the duplicates and returns the unique values but keep it in mind this will not sort the collections okay it just returns as it is okay so here are the ways by which we can use one is like multi set union so you can use multi set union all also even if you are not specifying all the the default behavior will be all only so both multi set union and multi set union all will return the same result this includes the duplicate value if you want to remove the duplicate value you can use the multi set union distinct keyword the distinct keyword will remove the duplicate values okay the multi set union and multi set union all okay this is very similar to the union all set operator whatever we use in the sql the multi set union distinct because it removes the duplicate value it is functionally similar to the union keyword it is similar it is not exactly the same because union set operator will remove the duplicate and sort the result set whereas multi set union distinct will not sort the collection data that is one minor difference here okay so here is a very simple example the usage of uh, union and union all in sql as a set operator you can see here so the same value i just populated in two table called t1 and t2 so whenever we say select star from t1 union t2 it removes the duplicate sorts the result whenever we put union all it will not sort and it will not remove it will just give as it is that's why you are seeing here 15 elements or 15 rows here here it is nine rows duplicates are removed and it is sorted okay so this is about multi set union now let us see the next multi set operator multi set intersect multi set intersect will just return the common elements between both the collections let us take the same example now so now if you see there are few common elements here like you can see 1 1 is a common same way 2 and 2 is a common there are three elements common between these two collections okay so this is what the multi set intersect will return so in this case whatever the common elements between these two collections will be returned but it will return like 1 1 and 2 because three elements it will return okay uh, if you want to remove the duplicate because in this case like 1 is a duplicate value if you want to remove it you can use the distinct keyword now let us see the example i am using the same example so instead of union let us put intersect okay so now this will return the common elements between both the collections okay suppose if i want to remove the distinct we can use the distinct keyword so this re removes the duplicate value and just returns the distinct values okay so here are the usages you can use like multi set intersect or multi set intersect all multi set intersect distinct okay so the multi set intersect distinct is very similar to the intersect set operator what we use in the sql 
okay i'm just saying similar because this removes the intersect also will remove the duplicate multi set intersect distinct also will remove the duplicate but keep it in mind the multi set operators will not sort the collections whereas the intersect union minus all these things will sort the collection after removing the duplicate it sorts the result set of the sql also okay so this is about multi set intersect let us see the third multi set operator that is multi set except multi set except is very very similar to the minus keyword in the sql set operator so here what will happen is it just returns the elements from one collection that is not present in the another collection so you can see here so this is our collection one here is our collection two when we say collection one minus collection two not minus i am saying collection one multi set except collection two in this case whatever present in collection one that is not present in the collection two will be returned so in this case this result set will be returned keep it in mind multi set except includes the duplicate value so you can see here the eight is a duplicate value if you want to remove this duplicate as i already mentioned you can use the distinct keyword let us see the example now so let us use multi set except so you can see here Two, three, four, five, eight, eight. Because these are the elements that present in collection one, which is not present in the collection two. In this case, eight uh, is displayed two times because eight is present two times in the collection one. If you want to remove this duplicate, you can use the distinct keyword. In this case, you can say three, four, five, eight. Okay. So here is the usage. You can use either multi set except. multi set except all multi set except distinct okay the multi set except distinct is very similar to the minus operator what we use in the sql we don't have an exact equivalent for multi set except and multi set except all okay so here is a usage of the minus keyword in sql you can see here i am saying select star from t1 minus select star from t2 it returns the rows by removing the duplicate as well as the results are in sorted order if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video interview question sql practical question and concept videos if you want any questions to be covered you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id and thanks a lot for watching this video please click the bell icon if you want to get instant notification whenever new videos are uploaded into this channel thank you